Everybody, we are going back to Minecraft a Dungeons. And, uh, well, we're gonna farm some geeks. Hence the name of this stream. Again, um, I'm hoping I can get the Guardian bow this time and, you know, not be a bust like it was last time. I spent a fat hour farming it and never got it, so it's unfortunate. But, oh well. And if you saw the end of my last stream, I literally spent... Mm, 6,500 emeralds and got two uniques, which was really disappointing. I think I got one weapon and archer's armor, I believe, were the only two things I got. Can't check, though, because I already got rid of both of them, so those are gone. But, you know, it's nice and all. So I guess we're just gonna keep farming, hoping we get something good. Probably won't, because, you know, this game likes to be a little dumb sometimes. I feel like the first time I do a level in, in a day, it's like, I always get better loot. Like, the first time I did Arcaven, I got Venom's Bite first game. Never got anything else good, really, other than the... I did get one other unique, I believe. Wasn't even that great of one. I don't remember what unique it was, though. I'll probably remember if I look at the stuff that drops here. Oh, it was a Void Collar, that's right. It was, uh... The Void Collar crossbow. The one that pulls in enemies. Haha, <laughs> your walls can't trap me. I we always gotta go explore these little areas over here. Gem jar. Ah, nothing again. What great luck to start the day off. I guess we'll just see. What happens then? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I get stuck twice. Eh, it's not too bad though. Just a little annoying as well. Run away! Need to get that armor piece. I don't know why my voice cracked earlier. Uh, am I so bad at this? This isn't a hard thing to do, by any means. There we go. Where are you, buddy? Oh, there you are. I want to deal with these guys while I'm trying to get this stinking chest. Guards armor! Fun. It's kinda hoping for a unique maybe, but no. I'm trying to get that guardian bow, the one unique I'm missing. Uh, for bows. Other than curious armor, which I'm not even sure whether or not that exists, so. Time will tell. Um 
probably the best for loot in general is just doing um or not necessarily loot but if you don't really care what type of loot it is as long as it's loot um creepy crypt is always a good spot because creepy crypt has a uh, What's it called? I can't English today, but, uh... Has emeralds. Tons and tons of emeralds. But, um... Yeah. Great place for emeralds. And overall loot, I guess. Um... I don't know. I don't think people like my speedrunning build, though. A lot of people, I don't know what's up with people recently, but people have been like against speedrun builds. I don't know what that's about. I love my speedrun build. It's what uh, allows me to clear levels so fast and farm for the best gear. And then once I farm, get everything, then I'll just, you know, dial it back a bit and just ch chill and hang out. Because, I mean, you're never going to get all the stuff if you're going slow. I mean, if, I, if I'm going to get it, I want to get it as fast as possible. Oh, yeah, and so Guardian Bow drops here in Pumpkin Pastures only, I think. Two places... Uh, nope, there's a third. Cacti Canyon. It's Cacti Canyon, Pumpkin Pastures, and this place are the only three places that drop longbows. Which, for to get the, uh, um, unique, uh, the unique Guardian Bow, you need... It has to be any place that drops longbows. Because, uh, the unique version of Guardian- The unique version of Longbow is Guardian Bow. So. That's nice. Hey, you see this one. Totally missed it. That's nice. Literally nothing of any value. Just wanted to get those emeralds quick. I feel like this level in general is very easy. I mean, it is like a secret level for Pumpkin Pastures, which is a fairly easy level as far as like, you know, how far you've gotten in the game. Pumpkin Pastures is like the second. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be painful. Literally, because they have thorns. At least there wasn't too many guys by them, that would have made it even worse. Champion's armor. The more I do this, the more I feel like I'm getting champion's armor. Another guard's armor. Yay. Done again. I need to get a 115 artifact too. I'd like to get a better ghost cloak, boots of swiftness, and yeah. Because those are the ones I actually use very often. But my best boots of swiftness is a 105 and my best ghost cloak is a 107. So that's horrible when you think about it. But my death cap, I got a 114 lucky drop from uh, Moo, which is awesome. But, uh,. I don't think you can get 116s at all. 115, I'm almost positive is maxed. Ooh, could have been a better health um, speedrun gear. 
Yeah, I gotta get the Battle Staff of Terror eventually. Um, I was watching a video the other day about top uh, top ten weapons, or not top ten, uh, top uh, you know section of weapons. Uh, best, oh, all the weapons rated from worst to least, or yeah, worst to best. Sorry, and. Uh, number three was Fighter's Bindings, which really surprised me because I knew, or I thought for a fact, Fighter's Bindings was going to be number one because of their, they don't even have a combo, it's every other hit, and for like their uh, swirling and for uh, Shockwave, it's every other hit, and it has a relentless combo that just does not stop, you, it's, you just keep attacking. <laughs> Which is awesome, but um, I think number two was I don't remember what the what the other ones were. All I know is Fire's Binding was only number three, which I thought was crazy. I thought Fire's Binding was much because he, he said that they were number one until they nerfed the radiance. Uh, the radiance only heals half of what it used to, and the size is cut in half, which is negative, but. I think that even with that note, I still think it's, you know, the best weapon in the game. Just because of its damage, DPS, and when you add a death cap to it. Because I believe death cap increases percentage? It just says increased attack speed. I believe it's percent based. So it increases your attack speed based on this or that. One of the other things is, for like, Renegade Armor, what makes the Fighter's Binding so good with Renegade is Renegade Armor increases percent of your spe attack speed. It increases your attack speed by a percent, not by uh, a flat amount. Like, it'd be one thing if it added like 50 speed for, per se, but what it, it adds is it adds 20% um, more increased uh, attack speed. So. With that increased attack speed, you can do a hell of a lot of more. But, uh, yeah. Hope I can get something good from here, because I've been getting squats so far. I feel like these guys are way too easy, though. For Apocalypse 7. And we get normal sickles again, that's nice. Uh, I just love getting normal weapons every time. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, these guys have thorns. No. Oh. Guess I'll just overreacting. Champion's armor again. So goody goody. I want three TNT by the end of this. Give me it. Yeet. Oh, I was gonna throw them right under the boat. Now well, we're 15 minutes in, gotten, what, two runs so far? Gotten squat, which is fun. But, that's okay. Literally, yesterday, I only got two uniques from doing this, like, ten times. And you'd think you'd get more from opening, like, you know, tons of golden chests. Like, a few runs had, like, I think, like, Five, like four or five golden chests, a few of the runs. This actually isn't a bad piece of armor if it's higher level. My growing staff. What can I get on this? I can get. I can get exploding, which would boost its damage, but gradings is probably the way to go. Um, 
Swirling wouldn't have been wouldn't be bad. Chains, rampaging, which has increased attack speed. This thing has a crazy crit hit though. Triple prospector. Renegade armor. You know, I'm actually gonna test how much damage can I do with this thing. I don't remember. And then we need a gong of weakening, which don't double stack anymore, unfortunately. Oh, I t my gong of weakening wore off. I know I've done more damage with this thing. Where's the... I'll just equip three gongs to make this easier. Actually, two. Which would be fine. Hundred and twenty-two thousand! Hundred and twenty-two thousand! Holy crap. 122,000 with the growing staff. Oh, the, the, the top two acts, the top two weapons, I remember now. The number one weapon, or the number three was Fighter's Bindings. Number two was the Cursed Axe, which I have here, Cursed Axe. And then number one was the Whirlwind. Which I don't know if I agree with that. Whirlwind is good, or the Whirlwind is a really good axe, but... I feel like Fighter's Bindings is an overall better weapon. It's not as balanced, but Whirlwind is probably better for, like, killing mass amounts of mobs in AoE situations. But Fighter's Bindings are definitely the way to go for, like, just close range, if that makes sense. Um, like, Fighter's Bindings just melt the health off of everything. They're the number one boss killer in the game. But, I don't know. Can't believe I did over a hundred thousand. If I got a perfect roll for that, I could get a crit double sharpness, potentially. Which would do it even more. It would add like 50% damage, which would make it do like 200,000. It'd be ridiculous. And then I could do that one that boosts damage. There's another thing that boosts damage. I don't remember what it is. I think it's an enchantment for armor. It's like frenzy or something. I, I think frenzy might only boost attack speed, but I know there's one. At least I think there is. I think there's one that boosts um, attack power as well. Not positive on that, so don't quote me. But uh, yeah, yeah, like. Can you do that with a whirlwind? I don't think you can. Get the swiftness! That wasn't my fault. I didn't mean to even I didn't even mean to use my health potion. I was fine. Thanks to my ghost cloak. Which allowed me to not die. <laughs> Ooh, gem jar. I might go watch some TV in a little bit. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Holy, I forgot that bad electrified damages you. Okay, there we go. Now's our chance. Take him out. Oh, they got thorns. Oh! Alright, we're good. There's gonna be no chest, of course, because why would there? I feel like this place might be unnecessarily out of the way for how many, how little times I get it to spawn with chests. Because the most I've ever gotten from back there is three chests, and one of them was silver, and two of them were golden. So I don't even know if it's even worth it to go back there when like 95% of the time there's nothing. 
Oh, that's nice. Invite from Brendo. Sorry, mate, but uh, I'm doing solo right now. I thought I could get him to explode. It's a rip. Oh, I didn't even roll. What in the world? Guards armor again. Yay. I feel like what I get most from chess is just guards armor and champions armor. Like just from everything. All I get are those. Yep, there's the champion's armor, told you. I either get sickles, champion's armor, or guard's armor. That's pretty much it. Except for that one time I got a stinking... Uh... How's it called? Um, I got the, uh... Void collar the once. Or the one time. But <sighs> once again, got squat for loot. I'm trying to get the only bow I'm missing, which is awesome, except for the fact that I haven't gotten it to drop even once yet. Literally haven't even seen the dang thing. All I know is a bunch of my friends have it. Missing what? One bow, four weapons, and three armors. Another 112 love medallion. Not bad, except I think I already have a 112. I think. No, I do not. Person is now my friend, which is cool. Can I? Did sense. It's dragons can help. Um, I mean. I don't really need help, but I mean, if you want to join, I guess you can, but I'm not currently in need of help. I mean, look at my, I mean, look at my stuff. I mean, I literally am just running speed run gear at this point, so everything I use is speed run. And then I got fighters bindings at like top tier. So, I mean, literally the best drop you could ever get for fighters bindings right here. Um, yeah. Not a bad saber wing, didn't have the greatest enchantments, but what I want is I want a good harp crossbow. My harp crossbow isn't the greatest. Oh, I need help. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I guess, yeah, you can join. But I want a good harp crossbow. Problem is I'm missing uh, multi-shot on this. I want multi-shot, um, infinity, and like, accelerate maybe? I don't know what I want for the third enchantment. I knew there was something I wanted, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, few shot. Few shot was the other one. It was few shot, infinity, and uh, multi shot. But uh, yeah, I got a ton of stinking uniques. I'm just, I'm trying to collect all of them. I'm, I'm getting close. I'm missing like seven. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm missing six because one of them doesn't actually exist. I don't think. Tell me whether or not you believe Curious Armor exists. I don't know. It's the unique variant of Guard's Armor. I don't know if it exists or if it's just an extremely rare drop rate. But, whatever. I'm also missing, um, for armors, I'm missing 
Curious Armor, which I don't know whether or not exists. I'm missing Splendid Robe and t -t 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 Cave Crawler. Cave Crawler is the other one. Um, for weapons, I'm missing Fortune Spear, Vine Whip, um, Battle Staff of Terror. And there's one more. Battle, it's Fortune Spear, Battle Staff of Terror. I friend you. Okay, cool. I accepted it. I need Battle Staff of Terror. Vine Whip, Fortune Spear. I know there's one more. I can't remember what it is, though. I don't know. I can't remember what the other... Or maybe I did get it. Oh, yeah, because it was the Master's Katana in a party. All right. Well, you can invite me or I can invite you. Um, I'm also going to be playing with somebody else, I believe. So um, they're, I'm trying to help them grind through Apocalypse. I don't know what you want for help, but... Um, I'm helping them through Apocalypse, so. Um, next. Do -do. Sorry, give me a second. Hello. Going pretty good. Match yourself. Nice. Alright, well, you wanna join me, or... I have a... I have an open uh, server, so you should be able to just join. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. So what uh, mission you want to do? I don't care. Whatever you want to do. Bro, I got this insane crossbow already. Auto crossbow? Yeah. Love that thing. Yeah. You want to see mine? <laughs> um, I just, I just dropped during the red zone. I it it has a few it. drop places. I'll check for a Give me a sec and I'll go check. It actually, no, I got it from the blacksmith. So I was just. Yeah, that's where I got to... mine as well. It's an extremely rare drop rate, though. Let me go find where it, where it is. Also got the double axe and the dark knight armor. Cool. Um, let's see. Where does this drop? It drops high block halls. It drops. Redstone mines? Yes, it drops okay, redstone mines. Mine. It drops high block halls. And I think that might be it. Wonder how much damage are you doing? I'm doing a thousand somewhere at fifty. Well, with each hit, one thousand per hit. One thousand seven hundred fifty per hit. You wonder how much mine is per hit? No. It's, it's only six hundred ninety-seven. But yeah, you want to see how freaking fast they are? Yeah, <laughs> oh my. God. It's on a whole nother level. And if I do a I crit mean, hit, it's like 2,500. I do 5,000 if I do, um. Oh, did the... you gong of weakening? I do 7,500 on a crit when you get a gong. <laughs> oh, I have a really good, um, growing staff. Earlier today, I did, uh, I want to say 125,000 damage on it. On a crit. Let me, let me test it right now. Oh, it's only 92,000. Oh. It was doing it higher earlier. I don't know what's up with that, but... Gone, maybe. 
I did. Uh, yeah, I did, it's, it has a gong on right now, but it's only doing 92,000 on its final hit for crit. What? Okay. What level are you? What time would this be happening? I'm a level almost about to be 40. I'm only at 39. I went uh, to the blacksmith and it gives crazy drops if you just keep on purchasing them. Well, okay, well, I guess we can do around noon then. We'll get some lunch then too. I know you get a, you get a, well, you have to like get really that. lucky. I got like a 90, 87, and 90 crossbow. 90 crossbow, 90 Just melee, and 87 beat, we'll, armor. We'll go in a little bit. I did have a 90 armor, but I actually sold it. But it was wither. Right. It was um, it was the wizard one, but it actually it like the um the witch one, but it actually sucked. Like it was. The witch one. Oh, are you talking about the uh, the wow. battle robe, or are you talking about? It's it's the it's like the weird. Uh, blue one. Oh, it looks uh, like a yeah, you're talk. Uh, I don't have the blue one, but you're talking about the blue one that's like this, right? Yeah. Okay. I had like that, but it was 90, and um, I accidentally sold it. But I just, I really didn't care because it really sucked. Like what I had on it really sucked. I wanted cooldown. Cooldown would have been nice on it, but nope, no cooldown, no protection, nothing. All right, so. I'm ready to do whatever mission you guys want to do, because I'm here to help you out, so... Um... Oh, if we do... Well, we go do anywhere, you... you'll get better gear, so... Bro, do you want... Let's do... Let's... You know the mushrooms? Mushroom, Let's do yeah. that on Nightmare, because the he would get crazy gear from that. Like, you we mean all do on, get crazy You mean on Apocalypse, you mean? Apocalypse... Oh, yeah. You, what yeah. do you think? Are you I, thinking I'm like? Thinking, thinking are you thinking Blue Diablo? <laughs> I'm thinking of a different game. <laughs> oh, I, th I thought you were talking about Diablo because that's what the difficulty in Diablo is. Probably. I'm only on Torment Four, so. Yeah. Yeah, my friend's up there. He does that kind of stuff. I don't know. I kind of got bored of Diablo after my friend power leveled me, so now I only play it for the storyline because the storyline's awesome. But what, what do you have to do in Diablo? Diablo is basically like Minecraft Dungeons, but like with better graphics <laughs> and a good storyline. I mean, the gameplay is basically the same. Dang. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> My character's on a whole nother level on this. <laughs> My character's uh, okay. I definitely not. I don't know if it's gonna be. Good in this, but yeah, we'll try. We'll try it. The last time I did this, I had a freaking. Oh, yeah. Oh, Wait till you no. get hit, though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till I get hit. <laughs> Forgot about that part. <laughs> I do decent damage, but. Auto crossbow! Woohoo! Can't attack for some reason. That's weird. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you level up Holy, like Holy, it's you guys, oh. bro! Stop oh, spamming the arrows. You almost killed me, bro. They have deflect on them, mate. They had deflect. Oh, I, killed, I think I just killed myself with the. <laughs> yeah, you did. You almost killed me too because your arrows were hitting me. I didn't know it had deflect on it. Okay. I had no clue it had deflect. Do they have on thorns it. too? No, they don't. Oh, they're frenzied. That's why. The lower health they're at, the better, the stronger they get. I was like, why am I dying? And I just kept on holding down the button. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
wonder you're gonna die. <laughs> Got the res. Oh! I have no you health. Really just take that off? Did you really get to take that off? Oh, better melee damage. I melee. now have much higher health. This will also power level you too. Wait, what? what? There's pork here. This will also power level too. This is like the fastest way to get XP in this game. Is this specific level. I got a new weapon and it's actually insane now. I don't want to kill myself again, so I'm gonna chill with those arrows. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't don't uh, check the enchantments on somebody before you attack them because sometimes they're enchanted with deflect, and in which case you can kill me because I'm upright in their grill because th these things have no range on them. They just do a massive amount of speed. You see how fast these things melt the boss on this level. Oh, that's amazing. These are the number oh, one boss killers oh, for melee. Oh, here's like a love medallion, not bad. Love medallions are pretty great. My mace does... I can't res him though because there's too many. Hey, you just get the res, get the res. I'll try and protect you. Cause I do a I do massive AOE with my swirl because of how fast it goes off. Nah, I'm good. I got my radiance to keep me alive. Oh, but that might kill me though. Okay, there we go. <laughs> they kind of surrounded me. Bro, how am I dying? I'm just I was hitting one on the corner and I just died. <laughs> Yeah, I think the I was I was reading a handbook or rather watching a video, and they said the number one weapon in the game is the whirlwind, but I don't know if I agree with that. I think that thing is. The whirlwind is definitely a great weapon for sure. I just don't think it's the best weapon. Being a hundred percent honest, I'm putting this. No, I'm not putting that damn. How did my parrot on? die? I didn't think those things could die. That freaking sight is dookie. Wookie, wookie. This. Where the hell you go? I'm all the oh, way at the, ne the next area. Oh lag! Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, teleport to okay. Blaze. I'm probably gonna die instantly, but we'll. Nah, try. you'll be fine. I have such a high attack speed that they die before they can even hit me. So <laughs> if they can't hit me, there's no way they're gonna hit you. <laughs> ready, ready, ready. Dong. Oh, Bro, if you gong of weakening, thing. literally nothing survives with these. Actually, I should probably change Dong. up my speed build a tad. Or not, ra rather change my build up. There you go. I'm switching to a gong of weakening build. Oh, ooh, I'm gonna go kill all those cows in that on that island. Yeah, That's gonna, gonna be gonna, very gonna dangerous. From you, I'm gonna sit behind you, get all this XP. Shoot him! Wow, you really do not do that much damage, do you? Uh, not with this thing, no. <laughs> no, here we go. Go! Oh, oh my God. they do so much damage, I got so lucky. <laughs> oh I God. thought I was actually about to die for a second. You should love medallions. Hey, I leveled up. Dog! <laughs> Alright. I just level up again. Depending on what level you are, you'll level up really fast in this. I'm level 42. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you're gonna be leveling up a lot faster than I will. You guys are gonna level up way faster than I will. Ah. The worst is thorns, probably. The, the worst enchantment is like creepers with like gravity pulse. Because whenever I run by them, they suck me back in and kill me. It's the greatest. Let's just say I've had my fair share of enchanted guys whooping my butt from stupid reasons. Like, they just had the perfect enchantment for their guy. Or, like, a uh, pillager with uh, quick attack. Or, what is it? It's like fast attack or whatever. Fast attack, uh, multi-shot, and few shot. And um, they all hit me at the same time. And uh, let's just say I got one shot in. 
That's tough. Uh, it was it was not the greatest. Oh, I got I got a strength boost now. Now things are just getting melted. I mean they're getting melted before, but like now it's even worse. Now it's like not even a close game. I mean it wasn't close before either, but <laughs> yeah. I mean you. Did I think deflect die. is probably like well we almost died because of the sneak and deflect on those cows. Deflect is brutal because it, it it reflects damage too, more damage than what you sent at it. So you probably wouldn't yeah. have dealt that much damage to them, but it does even more to us because it yeah, like I increases. Doing, like, I was doing 500 something. Yeah, that's not a ton. My bow, I think, does like 4,000 on a charge. My bow does 2,000 on a normal. I just, I just get healed so quick that I don't yeah, even need to worry Yeah, because of me. Again. That's my radiance in action. All I gotta do is stay behind you while you're freaking lighting. As long as you don't get one shotted, you're fine. I'm, I, I get like three shotted. Yeah, yeah, then you should be okay as long as you're like right next to me. They nerfed the radiance so it doesn't give as much HP and it has a smaller area, which is a grip. Uh, but it used to be much bigger, which is awesome. But now it's really small in comparison to what it used to be. Now I have to like be up your butt to even get some of that. Yeah. No, I play a few others. Mainly uh, games like it, though. Um, I play. I mean, I shouldn't say games like. It, I just mean games with, like graphics similar. I mean, I play like Fortnite, regular Minecraft. Um, I play all the. I I play a ton of games. I no life this for a while though. Like for a few days, I did nothing but this. New Warzone. Um, are you talking about Call of Duty Warzone or talking about like? Yeah, I played it for a little bit. Yeah, that's what people are saying. I haven't really played much online, so I don't really know. But yeah, I'm trying to roll off this without going too far. Yes. Try not to go too far. There we go. Now we gotta go run down the other path. How many chests are on this? There's only two chests. We already got all the chests. Yeah, I haven't played Destiny 2 since I originally got it. Um, I play I I played Destiny 1 a ton, but I haven't played Destiny 2 a whole lot. Yeah. My friend says it's a lot better than it was when it came out. Mm. Yeah.
it, it works on some, it doesn't work on others. It works on like every base mob other than like specialty characters that do like their own thing. Like for instance, it doesn't work on enchanters, endermen, any type of boss really. Any type of boss. It would be amazing if you could. I feel like it'd be a little broken though, so there's a reason it doesn't do that. <laughs> Cause like just imagine bringing like an Enderman straight up into like a boss fight. Or cause Endermen do AOE as well, so. Oh, the Skeleton Horseman? Oh, that would just be brutal. They do massive damage. I think they bring me down to half health when we're in this difficulty with one hit. Damn it. Yeah, you'll be leveling up a lot from this. <laughs> this is the hardest difficulty in probably the place with the best XP. So that's why you're going to get all this XP. Uh, I was hoping for a gem jar. What in the world? I knew there weren't any more chests, but... Ah, here's a gem jar. Yeah, if you want emerald farming, the best place to emerald farm is a uh, creepy crypt. I do creepy crypt a lot for emerald farming. Oh, one stray cow. You're dead. Oh, two stray cows. And now we are at our destination. These are why I call them the boss melter. Yep. Granted, this is on the hardest difficulty with four people. With with one person, it's actually easier. Because when there's one person, he actually has reduced health and damage. So he's a done. What? Oh, it's all independent. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your stuff's not going to be nearly as good as what I got, but that's just how this game is. You have to build your way up, even if you're doing it on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, I speedrun the crap out of levels. It's the easiest way to farm. I f I'm been I farmed like five hours for a piece of gear I don't even think exists, which is nice. It's the the curious armor. I don't know if it's real or if it's fake. I've seen pictures of it. I've seen gameplay of it, but the gameplay is like it doesn't look. It's real, but it doesn't look like the actual item because it's missing its uh, unique power, or rather, what makes it unique. It's extra stat, but it had the same skin as the actual thing I'm looking for. And I'm assuming people mod their way to getting it, but I don't think it's actually real. Ha, <laughs> look at that damage. Whew. I've done more, but that's that's pretty good damage. I probably did like five damage. Oh, Dawn of Weakening is really good. Dawn yeah. of Weakening is very good, yes. I got Death Cap Mushrooms. I will put that on. I just got a double my... radiance. Oh, I just got two. I got a double radiance claymore and a double radiance soul scythe. Nice. Neither of which I'm going to use, and they're going in the trash. But. Pretty much nothing we get from this is going to be of any use to me. <laughs> like, even if we're on the hardest difficulty, nothing I get is going to be something I use. Because I either use speedrun gear or I use tanky gear, and this doesn't have the tank gear. What'd you get? There you go.
This one still does, what, 4,900 on its final hit, and it's only uh, got triple Prospector. <laughs> I have three Prospectors on this sword. It took me forever to get a drop with triple Prospector. Eventually got it, but... Took me forever to get the Master's Katana. Where's the crit? There's a crit. Okay. Alright. What do you want to do now? Same thing, I guess. I don't, I don't care. I don't have much more time. I think I got one more run, and then I gotta go take my sister to Kohl's. But, uh, ye. Yeah. It's, at least it won't be very long. <laughs> yeah, she's just returning something. She's just returning some shoes, I guess, so it won't be too long, probably, but I don't know if I'll be back sooner, long after I bring her there, but... And we are ready to go. Ooh, this could give me a good death cap mushroom. I mean, I already have a 114 death cap, but I'm trying to get a 115. 115's are ridiculous to get. I haven't gotten a single 115 artifact, ever. Out of the whole time you've been grinding, level 200 something. Yeah, I'm 253, I think. Oh my god. I'm a level 50. I know almost. people that are like level 1000, and they just full no life this game. <laughs> it is a little much. That is true, it's a very short game once you get to the end. All I'm trying to do is get every unique, which I am currently missing like six. I just got this game today. Like, uh, okay. Three hours ago? Hmm. Four hours ago? Yeah. I oh. got this game maybe a few months ago, like three, four. But ever since the four hours I had this game, I've been grinding. <laughs> Oh, 47 already. Going pretty quick. Yeah. Wait, is he still here? Oh, no, he's still... What? Yeah. Oh, okay, you, you weren't showing up on the mini-map or in your your character hadn't spawned in. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your, your character didn't spawn in. I was a little confused, that's all. Yeah, so the way this is a so the max level for weapons and gear in this like bows, armor and weapons is 113, but the max uh, for artifacts is 115, so I know I do. I don't know about you guys, but Oh, my friend got really mad at me the other day though because I uh I was showing off the spider's bindings I got, which is what I'm using. He's been or he's been trying to get it for a very long time, and I uh, got like three of them, and I sent him pictures of each each individual one. <laughs> oh, he was so mad because he he he's been trying to get them. He hasn't gotten them like once that are good. I've gotten them like multiple times at decent level, and most of the time I just salvage them. What? It'd be cool if you could trade with people. That'd be cool, yeah. Although, it would make it really overpower, though, because, like, someone like me could just give you, like, everything no, I you get. You have to be, like, a certain level. You have to be, like, a certain level to do it. Like, you gotta be a level, like, 100 to trade or something like that. Mm. Something, something high, so you don't give, like, a new tons of stuff. Oh, wait, we, we can go over down this way. I didn't see this other path down here. That could be, yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. I think that, like, so the randomization at the blacksmith is kind of stupid, just a little bit. Like, the fact that you spend emeralds and everything is 100% randomized, like, you don't get any say in what you get. I feel like 
depending on how many emeralds you spend, you could get like better gear. Like, for instance, like it increases the chance of a unique hat spawning if you spend like an extra, like like if you spend double price or something. But I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of stupid. And then I think you should be able to re-roll your enchantments for emeralds. Because I feel like the the trying well not even that even i mean yes that happened that has happened to me but the thing i hate the most is the amount of time it takes to grind to get god roll gear i got lucky with this i got the on my first time ever getting a 113 fighters bindings i got the perfect enchantments on it but i could just see myself getting like no good enchantments and then just having to grind again and again and again until i got the perfect enchantments holy that was a lot of fireworks Oh, do you like do you like all my electric? <laughs> yes, it just keeps chaining. <laughs> it's because of the mass number of cows in this one area. For some reason, they're just really bunched up. Farm, you know. Yep. Yeah, like right now, I have the second fastest speed build in the entire game. Damn it! It's not currently the fastest. The fastest is uh is um my gear but on an evocation robe. But uh instead I have it on this guard's armor. Sorry. More cows. Yeah, so the I have the god roll enchantments on this gear. The only thing is it doesn't have increased movement speed. So I would have to get lucky and get an evocation robe that had these exact enchantments, which I have not been able to do, no matter how hard I tried. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Grinding is grinding. <laughs> yeah. I was grinding high block halls a long time ago to try and get uh, the curious armor. Which I'm not even sure exists. Which I don't think it does exist. But. I think it kind of exists. I think it's kind of like something that people put in the game and then people thought it was real or whatever. Like a real item. But I think it's just modded. But that wouldn't make I mean, it makes sense that people would do that. But what I don't understand is every single gear in this game has a unique variety, ver uh, version of it. And guard's armor is like the one armor that doesn't, so I don't know what that's about. But I got stuck. cows. I see so many numbers going off because of my swirling.
How did I die? Oh, 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 oh. Fighters bindings. I can tell you where the the best drop rate is for them. Uh, do you do you have soggy cave unlocked? It's possible that you probably don't. So yeah, you have you have you done the swamp level? Okay. Well, so. Oh, okay. Well, it's like the swamp level is like usually the second level that people play, other than the tutorial. So it's technically the third, I guess. But um, the, there's a secret level on the swamp. Once you complete the swamp, it unlocks a secret level. Well, it doesn't unlock it, but you have to find a scroll that has a chance to spawn, and that unlocks a secret level called Soggy Cave. And that level gives you fighters bindings more often than other things because it has an obsidian chest which has increased drop rate for uniques than a normal chest, so that's why it's so good. But uh, I can I can show you the level quick after after this. You can't hit me. You can't hit me. Hey, hit you though. <laughs> Oh, I got a I got a unique void caller. One ten. I got absolutely nothing except emeralds. Woohoo! Oh yeah, seen that one before. Oh no, it gave me wool farmer. I already have. Is that a unique or a normal? What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I know I have that. Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah. I think it's the unique of exploding crossbow. I'm not positive though. All right. Well, before I go, I can speed run a level for you to show you a uh, soggy cave. You won't. It, it'll might be a little hard for you to unlock at first because it. Uh, it has a chance to spawn, and you have to do the level over and over again until it spawns, which is nice. But um, I can at least show you the level so you know what it is. And it, it gives you a free obsidian chest every run, so that's nice. Hey, I'm now level 260, and I can't hit X for some reason. Okay, now I can. Ooh, 113 Harvester. Snazzy. Um, I'm actually not sure. I have one, but I never built it. Oh, let's go in. Oh. Personally, I don't like radiance for bows, but that's just my opinion, obviously. Um, just because it's piercing, rapid fire is usually pretty good. I don't like rapid fire as much for bows over crossbows, but I mean, it's still not a bad enchantment for any bow. I have rapid fire on my bow, even though I don't prefer it for normal bows. Um, gravity's not bad. What is the other one instead of gravity? Um, I picked that tempo theft because I love tempo theft. When you hit something, you steal its speed, which is always nice. Um, for is it a, so? It's a bow or is it a crossbow? Then I do rapid fire. Because rapid fire, uh, it, it's it's better to get rapid fire for a crossbow over a bow because a uh, crossbow shoots on its own. You can just hold the trigger down and it keeps shooting. But a bow, if you hold the trigger down and just kind of you just sit there, and you're charging back your shot. Like, see how I'm I'm holding down the trigger right now, and I'm just sitting here. But yeah, so it's gonna shoot a lot faster. Which is nice. Alright, I'll show you uh, Soggy Cave quick before I have to go. Because Soggy Cave's a pretty fast level. We're gonna... I'm gonna have to ask you guys to stay at the beginning. Because I'm gonna speed run. So... If you guys follow me, death follows me. So... Yeah. I'll tell you when you can teleport though. Because there is a spot where you can teleport to me. And then you'll be fine. It's just... Until I get to that spot, 
I would recommend not teleporting to me. Because, uh, Apocalypse, you know, not a nice place. Yeah, the every, I think every update they're gonna increase the level cap, like the, uh, the power level cap. Because before the power level cap was 108, now it's 114. It's probably gonna go up to like around 120-ish with the next update, I would assume. Alright, so you guys just stay there, and I will go to the part. And hope I don't die, because um, if I die, you aren't resing me. Even if you were to teleport to me, you'd be dead before you could even think about resing. Alright, you can teleport. You're already there? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I can speedrun. I got speed synergy with double cooldown, and my armor comes with cooldown, so it's basically triple cooldown with speed synergy. Click R3, and then you click on... Um, click the name. Um, I'm power 94 right now. I'm 111. I could get to 150, or 1, 113, but um, I'm only 111 right now. Oh, so. don't follow him. Get back here. <laughs> no, you can stay in here. I mean, at least if you're in here, I can res you. Oh, watch out, watch out behind you! Oh, run, run, run. At, Now you're in, now you can't leave. Oh no. Ow, ow, ow. Mommy, help, mommy. Mommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah kill him. <laughs> oh, nope. Never mind, I'm running away. Alright, follow him. Oh, what the hell you just do? I solved the puzzle. Oh, he solved the puzzle, puzzle in three seconds, bro. Oh wait, there might be a chest back here. There's not. I, I already. This, this place has no. This literally has one chest. Yeah. I think the entire game, or the entire level. And then you come into this oh. other door up here. And then we have more oh. fighting. Oh yay! More fighting. Let's go cook, cook, cook some butt. My parrot just died. Oh. That, oh, it's back alive again. Ah, it. Ow. Reaper, oh, oh man. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did a lot of that creeper did do a number on me. He almost one shotted me. Usually when I get hit by a creeper, I have my ghost cloak activated so it reduces the damage. But uh that was like a full blunt because I was not prepared at all. Oh no. Mommy help them. Yay, we did it, or I mean you did it. <laughs> yep, and then this Top door up here unlocks then. And here's where oh, the obsidian chest is. Oh, and this is I where you can get one. fighters bindings to spawn occasionally. Ooh. Yep. Dual wielding daggers. They're alright. Not bad. They're not the greatest, but they're not horrible. They're they're one of the better uniques, I guess. Mob. Mob max health, and I'm also gonna do. Got him. Damage. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we won. I, I set that up. <laughs> yeah, I do that every time, just about, if I have TNT. <laughs> On this level only. Yeah, me and my friends like to throw TNT at each other, it's fun. I mean, we'll instantly die of that. Yeah, you guys yeah. will instantly die. It takes two to kill me, but... Because my armor's not... Even, I'm only wearing 110s, a 110 armor, even though I should be wearing, like, 113s. Just the difference is that this is speedrun gear, so... You kind of... It, it's really hard to get a 113 speedrun gear because of the amount of time it would take to farm it. I got a 112 Dancer Sword, which is cool, but I already have a 113, so I don't really need it. Na, 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 na. I'm critical hit because it has a chance to triple damage, which is always good, so. Alright, well, I'm gonna spend my 3,000 emeralds now. Hopefully. Oh, literally just got Firebolt Thrower. That's one unique. I either get really lucky or really unlucky whenever I'm doing these. Because, like, the one time I spent 6,500 emeralds and I got one unique. 
which was awesome. Oh, oh, wait, was that Cave Crawler? And Renegade, oh, holy crap. Wait, I just got one of the uniques I'm missing. It's an armor, and I didn't even have to grind for it. Holy crap, Cave Crawler armor, let's go. Oh, talk about lucky as hell. It's about as lucky as you can get. Yeah, from the blacksmith. Holy. That was a lucky drop, to say the least. Now I am one less, or one less unique to go. I also got Renegade armor, which is probably like one of my favorite armors in the game, other than speedrun. Renegade might be like the best for actual gameplay. Oh, and it has cowardice. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let's go. Cowardice is like the best enchantment for fighters bindings because I'm at full health almost all the time and cowardice when you're at full health you do more damage <laughs> So that's awesome Yeah, that's a rip. Yeah, I hate how much the the blacksmith is uncertain I do like sometimes when you get like a bunch of lucky ones in a row, but often that doesn't happen Usually I'm way less lucky Unfortunately, I did not get deflect on it. Oh, mystery armor has random stats on it to start, so... Yeah. Alright, cool. I just completely enchanted that up to 21 enchantment points, so that's cool. Yeah, I have 40 enchant... Oh, I just got moon daggers. I got 40 enchantment points in my, like, inventory that I'm not using. Like, I have so many excess enchantment points that I just cannot use on anything. Well, I can, but I choose not to. Because I save them for when I get new gear. I'm really close to power 100. Nice. Once you, once you get up to my power level, you just stop going up higher, and then you just end up getting better and better gear at, at the same level. Then you yeah. start grinding specifics. Once you get up to, like, the hundreds, that's when you want to start grinding for specifics, but... I mean, everything, I have pretty much everything I want, other than one of each unique. I'm missing, what, one armor in the game? Other than Curious Armor, which I don't think exists. Which I probably already mentioned that. But, uh, yeah. And then I also want one bow, because I'm missing one bow and four weapons. Oh, I got an evocation robe. Nope, didn't have the right enchantments. That's a rip. Well, I gotta go, so I'll be back on later. It's later sometime today, but uh, alright. See you guys. Appreciate the run, dude. For sure, anytime.